clear? No, nothing. What money have you got? Forty pounds in traveller's checks. Uh, what's in the briefcase? Just papers. Would you open it, please? Of course I'd open it. There were only papers in this one. The money was outside. All right, thank you. Now for the passport. Have a good trip, Mr. Apergis. Oh, thank you. No, no, no. I'll take that. Good. Ten minutes to go. Now for it. The most dangerous part of all. Uh, look, excuse me. This is very stupid of me, but I seem to have lost my wallet. Well, uh, yes, sir. You tried all your pockets, of course, oh, yes, sir. Yes, of course I have. I had it last when I bought some cigarettes in the entrance hall. I must go back. You can't do that, sir. You've cleared customs. But I must. It's got I'm, all my money in it. I'm sorry, sir, but... Would you come with me, please, sir? Would you mind waiting a moment, sir? Right, you are. I understand you've lost your wallet, sir. That's right. Well, I think we can stretch a point in this case if you'll go along with Rogan here and show him where you think you've lost it. Thanks. Thanks very much. That's right, sir. I was gambling on getting rid of him long enough to switch the cases. But my luck was out. Right out. By the uh, cigarette shop, you said, sir? No, I had it there. I remember putting it back in my pocket. I, I could have dropped it anywhere between here and there. Well, let's look, shall we, sir? Yes. Parents meeting children from BEA special flight 304 from Jersey will assemble in the main concourse by channel. Now let's see, I came in. I'm sorry. No, I thought you're right. Look, I just remembered I sat down in these chairs over here. Perhaps we should try. Yes, we'll have to try, sir. Oh, here it is. Oh, good, sir. Let's get back, shall we, sir? Yes. You find your wallet all right, sir? Yes, I did. Here it is. Sir, sir, come back. Oh, look here, my wife on that plane, I'd like to have a word with her. I'm sorry, sir, she's not here, my dear fellow. It's very important. I'm sorry, sir, she's not possible. Gracious me. This gentleman has been seen once. Yes, of course. Thanks very much. It's been a pleasure, sir. I'd made it. With three minutes to spare. In three minutes, I'd be on the plane. In five, I'd be... Excuse me, I think I have your passport. Mr. Perkis? Uh, yes. Oh, well, I must have yours. Uh, Mrs. Maxwell? Yes. I'm sorry, I must have picked it up by mistake. I see your name's Dimitri. Are you one of the shipping of Perkis's? Old Foshan son? Uh, yes. Well, then we practically know one another. I'm Diana Maxwell, Adam's wife. You're the only one of my husband's friends I haven't met yet. Still at last we have. Hello. Hello. How is Adam? Oh, the, the same. Just the same. Uh, he isn't here, is he? No, no, I'm on my own. I'm going to Bermuda to see my mother. Oh, I see. And uh, where are you off to? Oh, just to Panama on business, you know. Ships, I suppose. All well, Adam talks about are his ships. I suppose you're the same. Well, I wouldn't say that. Well, we're on the same flight, at least as far as Bermuda. That is, if they don't cancel it. Cancel it? Why do you say that? Well, haven't you heard? There's a delay. This wretched fog. All passengers for BOAC service 201 for Trinidad with onward connections to Panama. We regret that this flight has been postponed until tomorrow owing to fog weather conditions. Well, what's the matter? Passengers require Don't you feel well? You've gone quite green. Information desk. Yes, I'm all right. Are you sure? Yes, it's 
Just that it was very important for me to get to Panama quickly. Well, I suppose we'd better go home. By the way, I'd rather you didn't tell Adam you saw me. This deal is rather important in Panama. I'd like to keep it quiet. Of course. I won't tell him. I don't think I'll go home anyway. I'll find an hotel somewhere nearby. This way, please. Oh. If you do telephone him, you... I won't tell him. I'll remember. No, stay with me, please. He won't make a scene in front of you. My car's out at the back. We'll go out of this door here. Come on. Oh, I've been there uh, Not through there, sir. I must pick up a case. We have the time. He may see me. Who is that man? Is he pestering you? That man, as you call him, is Adam Maxwell, my husband. And your great friend. Never mind. Come on. Dimitri, who are you? Another Dimitri, obviously. All the business with the briefcases. First you had one, now you have two. What are you up to? Smuggling? That's my business. I thought as much. Where are we going? Well, the police station, of course. Oh, no, we're not. I could shut you up. How? You don't look like a murderer? <laughs> or even a criminal come to that. Why not tell me what you are up to? Perhaps I could help. Really, I could. Here, get in. I'd have got away with it, too, if it hadn't been for this fog. Now I don't know what's going to happen. You shouldn't have tried to impersonate Dimitri. He's too well known. I didn't have time to think. I just had to grab my chance when it came. I won't get him into trouble, though. I'll pay that money back, too. Money? Don't bother about the money. Most people seem to think it's important. Well, it's not. It's not important at all. It was money that made it all wrong between Adam and me. He's just too rich. It's just too easy for him to buy me a present to keep me quiet. That's why, that's why I left him. And that's why he was chasing you. Get you back? Yes. He must have come home early and found my letter. Adam would never have had the guts to do what you've done. I like a man with courage. You mean you might help me? Yes. Yes, I think you deserve to succeed. I think you might, too. Look, we've got to find somewhere to stay. I'm hungry. <laughs> I've only got nine and six in English money. Don't worry, I've got some. But I can't take yours. I... You can pay me back, too. Do you know where we are? No, but we're bound to get somewhere soon. <gasps> Oops. Let's go on regardless. What's your name? Bill Anderson. It's easy to remember. Mine's Diana. What was that? Hold on, we're nearly in the river. River? What river? Hold on, I'll back it out. Well, no, don't do that. You're just digging us in. I'm afraid we'll have to leave it. Come on, get out. Be careful. You all right over there? Of course we're not. Hold on. That might be Adam's car. But he wouldn't have followed us. Oh, yes, he would. That's just the sort of thing he would do. Well, let's not stop to find out. Oh, wait, my coat. I must have my mink. Hurry up. Where are you? Hello there. Come on, let's get over the fields. Oh, 
Well, where are we? I don't know. We're probably going round and round in circles. I think we could find the main road or something. Hello, here's a fence and a gate. It's a cottage. Well, they'll give us a meal anyway. Come on. It's very safe. Of course it is. Ooh. There's nobody here. It's a weekend place. There are letters all over the map. Come on. Let's break in. Break in? Well, well, they won't mind. After all, we're lost. But we can't break into somebody's... Will, we must. My feet hurt. I can't go any further. All right, Diana. They won't mind. I hope you're right. Ah, here we are. Oh. Woo! Anybody home? Diana. Anyone here? Right, here goes. Into the luggage. Michael. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> yes. A match. Well, look. Look, the oil lamps. Really? little place. And look, Bill, Knox, we can light a fire. Yes, I will do, then. All these letters are for a Mrs. Straker. Oh, some rich little widow. She won't come here in this fog. I hope you're right. Look, you light a fire. I'll go into the kitchen and find some food. All right. I think I'd better take a look upstairs first. All right. Give me a light. Hmm? Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. a nice fire going. Oh, good. What you're staring at? Oh, I don't know. Just that I've never seen a girl like you wearing an apron. <laughs> Here, let me take that. How wonderful to have a little place like this. I do envy people who lead a simple life. These are couteau jambon. They're better with truffles than they. I couldn't find any. Mmm. Tastes all right to me. Look, I even found some wine. Hope it hasn't got too cooked. Here's to us. Peace. That's something I've never had in my whole life. How long have you been married, Diana? Oh, a long time. About five years. What were you looking for? Refuge from your mother? I don't know. Perhaps. I wanted what she'd never had. A secure home and, and a man who was clever and mature, as well as rich. I was only 18. And you didn't love him? No. I think I did at first. You know, the, the kind of love a, a young girl has for an older man. I'd never known my father, you see. Oh. And now? Now I'm bored to death. To Adam, I'm just an ornament, something to show off. Every time I try and express an opinion, he just yawns. Very politely. 